Okay, YouTube and Trollster.com viewers, I'm going to show you how to remove a fish hook from fabric, clothing, and whatnot without doing any or very, very minimal damage to your clothing. Works really well, and I've never seen anybody else do it, so I think this is going to be a helpful video for a lot of people. So, first thing I'm going to do is put this very large barbed one knot dry fly into my pants so here we go I'm just gonna bury it in there that's stuck you can see it's now ah, you can see it's well past the barb The way to remove this, first thing you want to do is grab the hook, grab the shank of the hook up here, or the body of the fly. Grab it right underneath where the clothing's kind of impaled. And then you go push downwards. So you're going downwards, backwards, upwards, downwards, backwards, upwards. And you do it over and over and over again. And that gives that lets the barb. But every time you do it, it goes by a, a thread or two, and doing that, we didn't actually tear any, any threads on that. It looks a little roughed up because it's, a, it's just, a, at this point, the fabric, uh, opening in the fabric's big, but when that gets washed, that won't even be noticeable, that little hole I just made. I mean, we, that'll, that'll tighten right up and you'll never see it again on your clothing. We're going to make it a little more difficult here. And we're going to use this shirt, which is the Sims like lightweight fishing shirt. This shirt's a very common thing to have a fly stuck in. So, I'm going to bury it through, double the shirt, sleeve of the shirt up, and I'm going to put it through both, both layers. Okay. Now, if I were to just grab hemostats and players, and or players, and rip this thing out there would be a huge hole in this shirt without a doubt but I'm grabbing just below where the hook entered and I'm just doing that circular technique again it's not quite circular it's downwards backwards upwards downwards backwards upwards over and over and over and over however many times it takes and it will remove the hook from anything at all even like if it's stuck in a sandal strap a Chaco sandal strap it'll it'll bring it out there it is hooks out fabric is has very minimal damage and I don't think there's any damage to the threads there okay next demonstration right in the very front of the shirt there it is see if I can zoom in a little bit buried well past the barb grabbing the shirt down here right under where the hook entered and well that was a really easy one. One one push downwards, pull back, and it was out. And there's pretty much not even a hole there. That was so easy, I think I'm gonna just do it again to make sure you think that that wasn't some sort of trick photography. So that's buried. Now we got a couple layers of shirt here to go through.
just make note of the motion I'm doing there. Circular, almost circular, but not quite. Downwards, backwards, upwards. And there it is. Hooks out. Shirt has very minor, minor damage, which should come out in the wash easily. And there you have it. I hope you got the idea there. You can see here, this is in fact a barbed hook with a pretty large barb. I mean, this is a one knot hook. And just stuck it into a bunch of different types of materials and it came out of every one of them without doing any damage. I kind of want to show you real quick what kind of damage would happen if I were to just yank this barb out of a piece of material. So I'm going to do that. Since I don't care that much about this shirt, I'm going to just stick, stick this hook in here. And doing what a lot of people would do, I'm just going to yank it out. and that did a, made a pretty big hole right there I mean I can see through that hole that's pretty bad if this was like your favorite fishing shirt you'd be upset right now <laughs>